Hello and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. I'm Jack and I thought with this video uh, as you can see on the board at the moment is the marble effect that we did a couple of videos ago. I've heard a lot of people talking about laying down tape, spraying on tape, when to, to take it off, how to put it on and so on. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to do two videos about taping and spraying. The first one is I'm going to use this panel and this panel is exactly as I left it when you saw me finish the last video. So the, the thick paint was put on there and the cellophane was put on the cling wrap taken off and that's just left. I've not touched it since. So this has no clear on it, it has a lot of raised little bits in there um, and probably as it stands a bit of a disaster to think of taping over now, spraying using the, the tape or the fine line tape and then taking it off and thinking that there's nothing going to go wrong because ideal scenario would be I would clear coat this then I would uh, wet sand it and up to say 3000 grit get it nice and smooth with a two pack clear over the top of this and then I would do the taping or whatever I was doing that might include uh, putting some tape down or some frisket or whatever. So the first one I'm going to use this. The second one I'm going to use this which is the panel that we did uh, quite a while ago and this has a clear coat over it. So this now is a lot smoother although it's not 100% but it's a lot smoother and this one actually has uh, a nice surface to it whereas this one doesn't. So what I'm going to show to you now is taping this thing up, spraying it and taking the tape off and really how it's not going to work that well for you. Sometimes it works and you're lucky but sometimes it doesn't work and when it doesn't work you've lost all the hard work of putting that in first. So I'm just going to use so I'm going to use this 6mm, it's the uh, paper tape and I think this is 3M but I'm not 100% certain uh, the packets are well gone but this is the tape that I'm going to put on I'm going to put on a little bit of colour around the tapes and then you're going to see the problems that we have with this thing so we'll start off I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up but I've put little marks on this edging tape so it gives me something to work to if I was going to do a design that to me is a, a nice easy way of doing it so you're not off one way or the other at least you've got some kind of reference so we'll put this on and we'll just see how we go using this tape so that's our centre line and when I'm doing the tape Wherever we get a tape that goes over the top of another one I always just run the fingernail along that edge and that's going to form a nice kind of seal along the edge of the tape on top of another tape. So then we'll lay another one now and uh, we'll probably come in from this so we're going from the same and I'm just going to bring it out to there and that's gone to another mark that I've got in there and then we can do the same here and bring it in from there and bring it out to there I'm just trying to vary this so that we've got different angles to spray at so we'll put one in here into the middle and we'll bring it across and up to there and then we'll bring our next one the opposite way 
So from the middle So with that tape in, in place, I'm now going to mix up some Wicked Detail Black uh, 0051, I think it is, Wicked Detail Black with 75% a mix of Reducer and 4030 Balancing Clear and we'll vary how we do this We'll start off by uh, up here and what I'm going to spray is on the tape so um, let me see if you think this bit here which you can see I'm not spraying on the artwork If you saw that I'm spraying half and half so that's what's going to give me um, a nice edge but a nice blend and I'm not going too far away you see how I'm keeping either side on the edge of the tape so for this first bit that's all we're doing. Okay, so as you can see, I've put a little bit of darker stuff, a little bit of a darker kind of shadow. on these two edges just because I can and then I'm going to start using this to pull this tape off straight away so when I'm pulling the tape I'm going to pull off at an angle I'm not going to pull it up 90 degrees from the paper or whatever you're working on I'm going to pull it off like this now this may or may not do a good job it may actually do what I don't want it to do uh, and that's basically come out perfect okay so what I've done there is pull the tape off left a very fine shadow around the top half of the tape now I'm going to actually put on another piece of tape just to give us that extra so that's now given us some tighter bits to, to spray into what I'm going to show you now is what's going to happen to this tape now bearing in mind you saw how quick that was sprayed and taken off straight away so that's just my masking shield to stop the paint from spraying up hitting the work that I've already done okay so now I'm going to paint inside here and what I'm going to do is show you what I would do if I was covering an area and putting paint in if you're listening to the guys who are painting and they say we're waiting until uh, five or six coats is full saturation so what they're saying there is when it's black or the colour that you've got on is solid 
and you can't see anything else underneath it. Okay, and just for the sake of finishing it, I'm just going to put some light spray. I'm going to leave that now uh, because I've been asked how long do you leave the tape? Well, you can see on that top one, 30 seconds after I'd finished the, the last piece of spray that came off and it's left it fairly decent. There's a nice edge on it. It's very light, like a shadow around each side. And then this one I've gone darker. But what I'm gonna do now is uh, leave this to dry. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes. It, it is fairly cool in here today. And I think that will just give me enough time for it to completely cure. And then we'll strip that off and we'll see what we come up with when we take that piece of tape off. Okay, so we'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, so it's had uh, maybe 10 minutes to cure, dry off. And what I'm gonna do now is just show you, hopefully the difference now between this one and that one. And what we can expect with the different colour and the different uh, strength. I'm going to try and bring you in closer to show you what I see as defects on that. From there you may think, yeah that's fine, it doesn't seem to uh, be any major problems. But there are one or two things on there, if you were doing this as a job and you wanted it finished, then there's not much, but there's definitely uh, a problem with it. So if you can bear with me, and I'll try and get you in as close as I can. Okay, so I've brought you in close on this first piece. I just want you to be aware and for me to show you along this line, I'm gonna use the pencil to show you that this line has a slight serrated edge and here and here especially the paint has crept under the tape so if you were doing this as a job that wouldn't be acceptable and this rough line wouldn't be acceptable as a finish for a job so basically the paint has crept under the tape now I'm just going to move you again okay so I've moved you again now to another piece of this and hopefully you can see along the edge there 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 and all the way along this edge is a rough edge up close. Now obviously not many people will be looking up close but as an artist when I'm doing this and I see that to me that's not right. Um, so that's again is paint bleed under the tape. Now I must admit uh, I'm just going to bring you back again now. Okay so we're back looking at the whole picture. I must admit, and I don't know if it's because this paint has been stood for a couple of weeks or what has happened, but apart from those bleed throughs that we looked at, from this distance you wouldn't see an issue. But when you get up and look at your artwork and you see there are bleed through, there's a tiny one here on the corner of this, uh, and the edges aren't a hundred percent. So if we're going to kind of be finicky about it, then we want to try and stop this bleed through. The benefit of doing this on the top is we have absolutely no tape ridge at all because we've just put a drop shadow in around here 
slightly I can feel especially along that line same here same here there is a tape edge or a paint edge where the tape the paint has started to build up which has left I can feel an edge on there that doesn't have a tape edge this does it's not going to make a major difference when you clear coat this because you six coats are clear uh, wet sand it down and you'll end up with it flat again but the major issue is the uneven edge and the, the bits where it's bled through I think I was just saying to you I'm actually amazed that when I took this bottom tape off that I didn't pull some of the purple up and that happens quite a lot if you're just going to tape straight over um, artwork without any clear on it the only thing I can think maybe has saved this from doing that is in with the mix there would have been some 40-30 balancing clear which apparently has good adhesion promotion that's that particular one uh, it's just give you a little bit of an insight in how long you can leave before you tape how you tape uh, where you spray on your tape when you're putting down an edge and then the next video will move on to the piece that has already got some clear coat over it and we'll see the difference when we do that next one so i'm jack this is airbrush ways if you've liked what i've done uh, please share the video and uh, give me a thumbs up if there's any comments anything you'd like me to to do or have a go at then just leave it in the comments below uh, as I've said before I'm not a professional sprayer I've been doing this for over 15 years maybe even getting on for 20 now definitely over 15 anyway and all I want to do is try and show you my way of doing stuff and hopefully it'll give you a little bit of help and a little bit of confidence. Okay, speak to you next time. Thanks a million. Bye.